Hello everyone, my name is Sandra and um, I belong to the HSI group in Dubai. Um, I was um, raised Catholic by very uh, devout parents. Uh, we went to church and we did everything that was necessary and uh, a little bit more. But somewhere along the line, I grew very distant from my, uh, from my religion, from my faith was diminishing. And as I grew older, I felt like I was going further and further away from the Lord. I really didn't like this about myself, but I also didn't do anything about it. Um, I got married, I have two beautiful children and a lovely family, and all of everything was going well. Um, last year, uh, in the beginning of last year, I had a little rough patch in my life. And um, it was something that I was, that made me feel very alone and depressed. And um, it was something that I couldn't handle myself. Um, I have a friend, her name is Jennifer, and uh, she and I used to take French classes at uh, the Mall of the Emirates. And uh, oh, for a couple of years, we were good friends and stuff like that. And then she used to continuously send me uh, scriptures and all of that stuff, and I would read them, delete them, and all of that stuff. Um, then when I went through this um, stormy part of my life, I decided to call her and I asked her to pray for me and she said, Sandra, what is it about? I really didn't want to tell her what it was about, but I finally confided in her and I told her what it was. Um, and then she started talking to me and she would uh, send me scriptures, but this time the only thing different was that I would actually read and understand and try to figure out what exactly was going on there in those scriptures. And I felt like there was a little bit of peace and relief in my life, but it didn't take away what I was going through at the time. Uh, um, I would wake up every day in the morning and I would wait to hear from her, and I would wait to see what she had to tell me and what, what she was gonna tell me, what Psalms to read and what part of the Bible to read and all of that stuff, and I really enjoyed that. Um, after a couple of weeks, um, I was I was still going through, um, you know, my life that was um, not very not where I wanted to be, and I not not uh, taking it in the direction that it was going, and I didn't really like that. I um, she then told me that I would like you to meet a friend of mine. Um, have you heard of the uh, Holy Spirit Interactive Group? And I said no, I haven't. And she says maybe you might want to meet a friend of mine, and uh, she will talk you um, talk you through it and tell you what it is, and and uh, take it from there. And I said all right. No sooner did I say all right, I had a phone call from a lady named Zenia, and we talked about um, uh, about HSI Interactive, and she just gave me a little snippet of, about what it was really. Um, and then she said, would you like to come and uh, meet me? Uh, so I did. Uh, I think it was in a matter of two days that I came uh, and I met with her. And then that very day I also met um, Brother Anil. Um, we had a great conversation and um, it was it was a lot of things that were that were covered in that conversation. It was where I was in my life, where I wanted it to be, uh, what have I done, and and all of that stuff. After I left from uh, this conversation, which lasted about an hour and a half, I went back home and I was driving back home and I felt and I thought, my gosh, in my life, have I been greedy and selfish or what? Um, I realized a few things about myself, uh, where I was, and, I, and then I, it made me, it hit me that everything that I'm going through right now is not everything that is done by somebody else, but I'm also part of it. And, uh, and, but that realization had never come to me before or nobody ever told me, and neither did Brother O'Neill say that, but it was just the, f the way the conversation flowed that it made me realize where I was, what I was doing, and uh, what I need to change about myself. <clears throat> From then on, I started praying every day in the morning. Um, uh, Jennifer was still sending me uh, stuff to read and, and, uh, and Xenia would send me uh, things to read and I would do all of that stuff. And, uh, and I felt this aura of relief right around me all the time. And every time I prayed, I felt like I was getting closer and closer to God. Um, I then uh, started introducing, not started, but I um, included my, my girls in our prayers a lot too. And uh, they really enjoyed it. And as a, as a family, just the three of us, we started praying together. 
And it, I felt like there were so many things that were just kind of falling into place piece by piece. It was a long process, but it didn't happen, and it didn't happen overnight, but it just started falling into place. I didn't know about forgiveness, and I started going for HSI uh, prayer meetings, and I realized that it is necessary to forgive. Because as you go through your life, you think, ah, oh, this person has done X, Y, and Z to me. I don't think I can, I can forgive them. How could I forgive them? But the very fact that you learn how to forgive, uh, you, feel, you feel the sense of relief, and you feel like um, something is just opening out in your life, and you're getting to be a better person, and that's where I was. I started being a better person. I prayed every day to just change me first, and then you know everything else would just fall into place, and it did. Um, it was about uh, seven or eight months that you know everything started working out between me and my family, my immediate family. Um, so my life started changing, and uh, little by little, the things that I was concerned about started drifting further and away further away from my family and my husband and I became closer and closer to each other and we were one very cohesive group, the four of us, uh, my two daughters and uh, our two daughters and then my husband. Uh, we had a great summer holiday and uh, we came back and I, right through this time I continued to go ahead and attend uh, HSI prayer meetings and uh, just going for the praise and worship over there that, was, um, that we would go for every, every Wednesday um, just changed a lot of stuff in my life and I couldn't be more thankful um, than being closer uh, to the Lord himself and this is all thanks to HSI. I just felt like uh, things in my family and what I was really concerned about were falling into place and I was feeling much better about myself and about everything that was going on around me and uh, and I felt like everything thanks to HSI because there were so many things that I was made to realize that I did not know before and um, I couldn't be more thankful to the group and uh, what they have uh, what they helped me uh, to do and realize and uh, be who I am today. Um, I went through for some inner healing with some other members of the, uh, of the HSI group. And uh, there again, it was like I had a direct connection to the Lord, which I never ever had before or possessed before. And um, I really appreciated that. And um, I am still uh, going for the meetings. I still enjoy them. And uh, I don't think I am going to stop because I think that where I have been led to through HSI is, uh, is a point where I I want to continue and don't want to stop. Um, all I have to say is I really want to thank um, the two friends who introduced me to this. This is Xenia and uh, as well as uh, Jennifer and then Brother Anil and his team who um, really did uh, so much uh, for me uh, personally. And um, at the end of the day, we individuals are all very selfish, but what I feel like, what I, what I gained from HSI is uh, something that I would not be able to get anywhere else. And um, I uh, want to thank them, and um, I am really happy where I am today, and I am enjoying my life. I just want to praise and thank the Lord, and, uh, and uh, thank Him for everything that He has done for me in my life. And uh, there is nothing I could be able to do without Him, and with without being able to have a conversation with him, chat with him, and uh, be who I am today. So thank you, Lord Jesus, for everything that you have done for me. And um, I will never, ever go far from you ever again. Thank you.